In this video, we'll start to explore how you can use Chart.js. So Chart.js is a wonderful JavaScript library and we're going to create a chart. I will show you quickly and basically this video and this entire series of videos is what you can see the video documentation of Chart.js. So if you go to Chart.js here right now and you click here on the documentation here, maybe you struggle with the documentation. I understand that. The reason why is very simple. Not everything is fully up to date and start, uh, trying to explore it might be very hard. So I'll show you step by step how to do this. All right. So we're going to create a very simple chart, any kind of chart here right now with this, the getting started option here. So we will put in here a chart. What I will do is I'll just get on bootstrap the starter template. So I just copy this and I'll put it in here as the starting point. And we can just remove this. We can say here this and we can remove all of this. We can say video documentation since this is our video documentation chart JS. And I will copy all of this, put it in here as well. Save this, go back here. All right, so we have now our bootstrap design. It's just a basic design. It's not that interesting. All right, so the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to put in here exactly what all this information says. And what we need as well, we need the chartjs.com, yes. So what we want to do is the following. We're going to copy all of this. We're going to insert that in here, yes. So we're going to insert a canvas. Very important to let me show you as well here because you have this here. You can see here this, how this sequence is here. So what I mean by that is the following. Chart.js has a specific sequence in how you insert the values or how you insert all of these codes here. So we have here, this is the JavaScript library of Chart.js. We have here the canvas and then we have here all the codes to draw the chart. Very important that you do it in this order. The canvas ID on top, underneath or anywhere after that in that sequence, the chart.js uh, library from J the JavaScript library file. And then we have, at, after that we have here the file to draw it. So the reason why we do this sequence is very simple. In here, it, it refers to certain values like this one here and some values in the chart.js library. If you put this on top, it will not work because some parts are missing. As you can see here, it says go search the canvas ID or an element with the ID name of my chart, which is this one. And if this would be underneath this, then of course it does not work. All right, so enough about understanding the logic about it. And what we want to do now is in here, you can see this part, you say, well, this is still the old version. You're right. You want to find a new version? In here in chart-js.com, you can find here, you click here on the chart.js CDN. In here, you can find the latest version and currently this is 2.7.2. So we're going to get this one. So let's copy this and we will put it in our file here. So we have a new script. We're going to get this, but to make it very simple, we just copy entirely this. We paste that and then the only thing what we add up is this HTML or this link? We just post this, paste this link in here. There we are. All right, so we've got this now. We're almost done. Finally, we have all of this. Once we did that, we can make here like a script. So we say here script, and we have a closing script tag. And between here, we'll just save this and basically here we have all the values so we're just going to have the indentation here there you are so that looks more better all right we'll save all of this and once we did that now let's go back to our file here and refresh and there you are so we have now our line chart here very basic, nothing fancy, but what I will do is I will just give it some design because I have a consistent design. No, not this one. Uh, we have here this one. So we, we are going to start work on a small, simple design here. So what we'll do is the following. We'll say here, we'll just give this a class and this class will be 
uh, background green the success and then we say here div class because we're going to make a card design for it so we put it in the center we say call md6 yes so it's 50% uh, of the width and then we say offset we want to push it to the center so we say md3 so once we did that we also have a top and bottom margin so we say my dash five is fine so we have the biggest possible margin and between here we're just going to put in here class and this class is what we call a cart and in this cart we have another indentation here and a div class cart body and between here we have everything what we need so we just put in here there you are to close the body and then we have another body where we will put in our canvas tag between here so we remove this put it in here between tag and closes again and here and again there you are so once we've got this and maybe we can even do here a hr so we have a horizontal line so let's save this now refresh and that looks way better so that's basically what we did and this is how you can start to work with chart.js and of course in this video documentation we're going deeper and deeper in every aspect so you have a clear understanding how to do this.